Taiyang Mountain Forest Park is where we're off to today. Welcome to another video from Guilao 60. It's a, it's a beautiful day here in Guangxi Autonomous Region. We just woke up, had breakfast at this hotel at uh, Huashan uh, Rock Art area of, uh, of Guangxi. Now we're off to the, the forest park. I don't know, I've never been there, but uh, I'll tell you what. When I get there, I'll turn my camera back on and you can see what I see. Well guys and girls, we finally made it to the park, the, the forestry park. And uh, it's uh, this bridge that I'm going to be showing. It's called the, the Wind and Rain Bridge, built in 1974. Uh, made out of stone in an ancient way. Uh, we'll, we'll check that out. Uh, I'm reading off the thing here, so you're going to have to bear with me. It has survived the 1979 War of Self-Defense against Vietnam, also known as the Sino-Vietnamese War, and is now intact. In recent years, in order to create a beautiful and commemorative bridge, they used Douglas fir as a main girder to build a pavilion. I have been in a lot of places in rural areas of, uh, of China and Guangxi Autonomous Region uh, mostly and uh, this looks like one of those places that's really really off the beaten path and, uh, and it also looks like they're trying to build it up to be a tourist attraction for people from the big city to come here and sort of relax. You're, you're in clean air, you're in a mountainous region, you're, uh, you know, it's quiet, it's, it's one of those things. Uh, I haven't seen any mosquitoes or bugs or anything, which is sort of nice. So let's give them a chance and see if we can't see and, and make this a more popular place with this video. As we're basically at the top of a mountain, if it ain't raining, there's not a lot of water. But it does look fairly clean, you know what I mean? Look at it. But what you are going to get here is a lot of bush because like you're out, we're out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, the main road here is under construction to make it easy accessible uh, as a lot of places in the rural areas of Guangxi Autonomous Region, uh, the road system isn't the best. So there's a big push on to make a lot of these roads better, easier access, opening it up to, uh, you know, to other people, uh, easier for the people here to move around and thus making it easier for people to get in here to a beautiful tourist spot like this. So uh, we had to take a back road over a couple of mountains and around a couple of mountains and stuff. And uh, it took us about two hours of driving to get here. Uh, the new way will probably turn that into about a half an hour. But anyway, let's move on. And we have limousines to come pick us up. Well, okay, not limousines. Well, they could be limousines. Depends on uh, what, you, what you consider a limousine. In uh, my world, anything uh, that's not an e-bike is a limousine. And this place has only been in operation for three years. How many cabins do they have? All together. You have how many cabins? We have 12. 12 cabins? Does that count the two big ones? Uh, the big one. No. 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 The doctor comes from Thailand. Thailand. Yeah, Thailand. The doctor comes from China. So they got all of these smaller cabins too that uh, they're named for all over uh, Southeast Asia like uh, Indonesia cabin, Thailand cabin, Laos cabin, you know, it's a... Uh, so this is a bigger operation than what do you think when you come through the front door? Uh, yeah, they got my attention. Actually, this is a place we were supposed to stay in last night, but uh, things just didn't work out. And uh, let me show you around. Here's the kitchen. <laughs> oh, nice, eh? And then, as I say, out the back is all pine trees. And chances are, we will be back in this area doing this. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera around. Well, not right now. Uh, check this out. Thank 
fancy eating room like Jed Clampett and, and Jethro and Ellie Mae would say. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Nice place. So this being a country hit place, now this is is out in the in the boondocks for sure. But you see some of the good things about being out in the boondocks is just getting away from other people. You can build things bigger. The land isn't worth as much. So uh, instead of putting the money into into the land, you're 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 putting the money into the into the the buildings and the amenities. Oh yeah, gotta love it. Check this out. We're out on the balcony. <laughs> yeah, baby. This is no different than hanging out at a cabin in northern Saskatchewan. It's a little bit hotter. But no, in the summertime in northern Saskatchewan, she gets hotter than a $5 pistol too. You know what I mean? So, oh, this is, this is great. Check this out. So in this place, actually you can house, by law, 10 people per, per night. Okay, well, well that's good. You know, I've already seen on the main floor, a couple bathrooms, a uh, fancy eating table, we've got a balcony, we've got a bedroom, and, uh, and it's 2188 RMB per night for this place. Okay, well, that's about 400 Canadian bucks. <laughs> 10 people, it's like 40 bucks a night, guys. It's cheap, cheap, cheap. It is, and it, and now, as I'm saying, it's getting closer and closer because they're putting the roads in. These people are smart, you know. They say, oh, they're putting the roads in. It's not two hours anymore, it's 15 minutes. Um, let's start building a, a resort, a high-end resort, something that everybody can be happy with live like kings and queens Ooh, baby let's go check this master bedroom out up here and i know it's got a balcony because i've seen it wow check this high-end accommodations in the middle of nowhere in Guangxi Autonomous Region here in China. And uh, this is definitely a parts unknown. I didn't know about it. Uh, the people at China Radio International, uh, when we came out here, they really didn't know what we were, what we were gonna see when we got here. And I'm impressed. I come, I look at this place, it, it seemed like a, a little Hickville. Uh, then we go into the restaurant. The amenities in the restaurant were great. The service was immaculate. Uh, the place was beautiful and clean. The food was to die for. I'm telling you, the food was probably some of the best food I've ever eaten in mainland China. And I'm not, and I'm not shitting you just for this uh, video. And the view, the view is amazing. The smell of the pine is amazing. And there's another room over there. So let's go check that one out. When I got to this place, I was I was looking around and thinking, oh, you know, they're they're struggling to make it. Uh, they're off the beaten path. They, you know, they've got. I was looking at the the first little sort of like motel room looking places, and thinking, oh, how sad is that? And then, then these these Chinese people educated me to what they were really doing here: high end cabins in the wilderness uh, two of them and and you're you're seeing it two of them that house 10 people each state-of-the-art beautiful uh, pine trees outside smells like northern Saskatchewan I'm telling you brought back memories of home then 
they, they sort of tourists around the area they've got 10 more smaller cabins that house that have two bedrooms each house four people each and uh, they're state-of-the-art and brand new too all of this has been built in the last three years they've got good restaurants they've got good cooks they got cold beer guys we're in the middle of nowhere they got ice cold beer uh, you, you look in these walkways these are just recently done too walking you know listen you've got fresh water coming out of the mountains you've got fresh air you've got everything that somebody in China coming from the big city would want plus the amenities are state-of-the-art well, I've been educated and uh, ain't that special sometimes when I come up on a place uh, I'll get this picture in my mind and I'll think this is the way it is uh, and then uh, and then people actually show me what it's really about and I have to say sort of take a back pedal and say ooh I was a hundred percent wrong but I should know because over the years the Chinese people have uh, have shown me that they never do anything small they've shown me that they impress people not only here but around the world with the the investment the strategy uh, the understanding of business their entrepreneurial spirit and that's what you're seeing here uh, people want to get out into nature they want to see it they want to feel it but after you're done with your nature you want to go and you want to sleep in a nice bed a clean place uh, something that is uh, just like the big city but then now listen <laughs> yeah I know it is it is that good and uh, after uh, a big lunch and like three tall boy beers I'm happier than a pig and shit walking through uh, sort of a nature a Chinese nature reserve on the top of a mountain right off the Vietnamese border in Guangxi Autonomous Region China with friends like seriously uh, could life get any better absolutely not if I could be anywhere in the world I would pick where I am right now because I am seeing and doing things that I could only dream of doing and seeing a number of years ago so when I retired six years ago and started doing YouTube uh, videos I made the right decision 17 years ago when I made when I met and uh, married my wife I made the right decision uh, it seems like all the decisions that I've made in my life over the last 20 years has brought me to this particular spot right now and uh, I'm telling you I'm gonna turn the camera around for the rest of this and uh, you can just watch what I watch And that, my friends, is another video from Gui Lao 60. As always, you know the score. If you like this video, as always, like, comment, subscribe, push that share button. Thanks for watching. Hit the bell. Don't forget to resubscribe. Beautiful country, eh? And never forget to put a couple bucks in the children's Patreon account. It's for a good cause. Poor rural Chinese children, they just need a helping hand, and we can give them that helping hand. Help me help them. Thanks for watching. Bye now.